All right, guys, welcome to what is probably the last episode of the AR build series. We're going to be taking a look at the muscle devices that I'm going to be using for the build. Um, and so here's a little preview of how the upper is looking so far. I mean, this is pretty much done the way it sits right now. We're gonna go ahead and take this off and I'll give you all a preview of how it looks on there. So I've decided to go ahead and go with the Q Cherry Bomb. It's gonna ship in this uh, just plastic little container here. And then in there, you're gonna get an instruction guide and so the, as you can tell right there on the bottom, you can install this on either a tapered shoulder or a squared shoulder. And then obviously your installation instructions are gonna be a little bit different. And I'll go over the installation here in a minute. So here's the Q Cherry Bomb. This is considered a muzzle brake um, so muzzle brakes on, uh, you know, 10 and a half inch barrels are going to definitely shoot out a large fireball, which is why I went with, uh, getting one of these, uh, whistle tips. So this is heat treated 17.4 stainless steel. And you can see on the front there, it attaches via a, just a, what do, they, what do they say? A quarter inch or a half inch SAE socket on there. And so these are available in half by 28, as well as five eighths by 24. And both of those are a 7.62 millimeter bore and there is another half by 28 model that is a nine millimeter bore. It's a really nice color. All right. And so the, the overall length on the uh, Cherry Bomb is 1.64 inches. Um, they recommend not to use it for a pin and weld device, um, as it, it really isn't long enough, uh, for a 14 and a half inch barrel, um, with how much it ends up having in the rear there. Um, you would, you know, they, they recommend getting a longer muzzle device if you're going to pin and weld to a 14 and a half. And what's cool about these is there's no need for um, timing because it the holes are all the same all the way around. So let's take a look at the whistle tip. So this is the whistle tip made by Q of the same heat treated 17 four stainless steel. And so basically these are used to um, one direct gases forward when shooting, as well as uh, mitigate that fireball that you get with the uh, the Q Cherry Bomb. And I, I've shot this, uh, the Cherry Bomb out of just, with nothing on the end of it. And uh, I'll tell you, it, it really does shoot out a fireball. And it's it just goes out rather than forward. And so it can really get in the way of your your viewing on your target. And so these, these install via tapers, just like all other Q suppressors and other muzzle devices. And so you just take this here and it screws on. And so there's no need for Loctite when applying the whistle tip to the cherry bomb. Uh, but you are going to need some type of uh, Loctite to attach the cherry bomb to the end of your barrel. Uh, I use Hotlock uh, Vibratite. It's 
good up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, Q recommends rock set. It's, it's all the same. As long as you get something that will allow for high heat. Tip. The other way to describe the whistle tip is it's basically a blast mitigation device. Or blast forward device, however you want to call it or name it. So here's the complete upper right here. If you guys have any questions about either the, the cherry bomb or the whistle tip, let me know down in the comments section. All right, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode where we'll take a look at the completed pistol. Thank you very much.